at your camera? <laughs> yeah. Is it a very good one? It's a, it's a good video camera. It's a DSLR camera, which means, you know, it's like originally for taking stills. The time hasn't spoken. Put that down for a minute and go and get that hose out there. Hello, old boy. She just developed this mental block of, oh, I'm not going to see a country doctor and the COVID disease was enough to keep her away from Melbourne doctors. So. I thought, oh my God, she wants to die at home without seeing a doctor. Every time I walked in to see her or rang her, she would say, Suze, I want to go home. We're over the worst of this hump, I think. Yeah. Except burying me, if anybody feels like doing that. I saw these teeth. I was like, oh, they're Lee's teeth. But like they were the thing that was like most recognisable like about her, her face to me. If your loved one wants to die at home, do it. All the agencies like palliative care, district nursing will help you every inch of the way. Just ask. I've been trying to sleep in an awful place. Well, we'll try and sort you out, will we? Yeah. Will we get, are you going to have a wash today? I think the best thing that we can all aim for is just what we call a good death, which really involves having family and close friends around and basically being pain-free. By priming that line, it's brought it back to seven. If she hadn't ever seen that doctor, we wouldn't have been able to get all that palliative care help. Are these all your paintings? Mm. Beautiful. I just paint my life. I think the two of us were much closer than we had been for a long time in the last two weeks. Funny how you're here and then you're not. You feel I must die soon. I don't think people understand well enough that this is something that you can tap into. <laughs> Palliative care at home. What is there going to be some sort of ceremony for this? For cutting your nails? No. <laughs> How I wish, wish you were here, wish you were here.